for thousands of years humans have spent a large amount of time looking up to the stars. The constellations have helped us to carve pathways for travel, and it's even made us question what may be out there in the vastness of space. Interestingly, humans have been able to use phases of the moon to help them with the development of seasons. Going back not so long ago, the total solar eclipse happened. It's regarded as possibly the most magical natural occurrence of our planetary system, and over the years it's caused many tourists from around the world to travel great distances just to get the perfect view of this magical celestial event. The most recent total solar eclipse was only visible in certain parts of the southern Pacific Ocean. It was mostly seen by people in central Chile and central Argentina. However, a partial total solar eclipse was visible in most parts of the western side of South America, and across the Pacific Ocean. A Chinese satellite that was orbiting the moon during the event was able to capture this incredible image. The satellite was able to capture six images in total, and they show the shadow casting onto our planet. The satellite had a built-in amateur radio transceiver, which meant it was able to communicate with our planet. The photo is perhaps one of the most impressive to come from the event. This event was the only day of the year that you will be able to see a total solar eclipse, with some being able to see the moon pass in front of our sun. NASA said the event will only last for a few minutes, and the event was visible across a 210 km or 125 mile wide path, and as mentioned it could be seen in places like Chile and Argentina. The next total solar eclipse will be over South America on the 14th of December 2020. Another astronomical event is coming up on the 11th of November 2019. This is when the transit of Mercury will happen. It will give the illusion of a large dark spot slowly travelling across the surface of the Sun, and it has at times in the past been mistaken as a large unidentified flying object. What's interesting is that the transit of Mercury across the Sun is only visible when our planet and Mercury are evenly aligned. So my question to you guys is will you be watching this on the 11th of November? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.